Vince McMahon is at the center of some very serious allegations. There are an overwhelming amount of YouTube videos that have been released lately that discuss all the terrible things that Vince supposedly did behind the scenes. This is not going to be one of those videos. I'm not here to talk about what Vince supposedly did. Instead, this video is going to go in an entirely different direction. I grew up watching pro wrestling and loving it. I was a huge wrestling fan when I was a teenager, so I am very familiar with the WWE product. I have a distinct memory of what Vince McMahon looked like, what Vince McMahon sounded like, and I know what Vince acted like when he was on camera. So when I look at recent videos of Vince McMahon from the past few years, I'm left wondering, is this the same Vince McMahon that we started with? Did they replace Vince McMahon with an imposter actor? Is this current Vince McMahon character some sort of actor wearing a highly realistic mask? Because let's be honest, this person on the screen doesn't look like the original Vince McMahon. And I know what people are going to say. He got older. He dyed his hair black. Oh yeah? Since when did Vince McMahon dye his hair black? Vince McMahon never ever looked like that. Back when Vince McMahon was in his 60s and early 70s, he never grew a weird pencil thin mustache. He never dyed his eyebrows black and his hair black. So why is it when he's at the center of all these terrible allegations that he decides to change his look completely different from how he's ever looked ever? What a weird coincidence that Vince McMahon completely stopped looking like Vince McMahon right about the time all these allegations showed up and he wanted to sell his company. Remember when he supposedly was gonna sell the company to Saudi Arabia, and then Stephanie took over, and then Vince came back, and then Vince left, and then there were rumors that he was still running the company behind the scenes. A whole lot of weird stuff going on behind the scenes at that company. It makes sense to me that the original Vince, perhaps, is no longer alive. Maybe he's long gone. And so now they are smearing the character of Vince McMahon. They appear to have an imposter wearing a mask, pretending to be Vince McMahon, on the rare occasion that he does make a television appearance. He hasn't shown up recently to address any of these allegations. So I'm suggesting Vince McMahon is long gone and they are smearing the character of Vince McMahon. I don't think they want people to remember Vince in any sort of positive light. They don't want people to remember that Vince was responsible for the Attitude Era that Vince was responsible for the most popular time ever in pro wrestling and the most popular feud in pro wrestling when he put himself into the main event scene against Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't think the current owners of the WWE want people to remember Vince in a positive light at all. So I think they're going out of their way to smear the name of Vince McMahon as much as possible 
so they can basically remove him from WWE history and pretend like he never did anything good for the company and he was just an evil guy. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say Vince McMahon was a great guy and never did anything wrong, but I will say that I don't entirely buy all of the current accusations that are being brought forth against Vince. Furthermore, I don't think this current character that they're calling Vince McMahon is the real Vince McMahon. I think the current Vince is being played by an actor wearing a hyper-realistic mask. Now, I'm sure some of you are going to have your doubts. The idea of a hyper-realistic mask might sound crazy if you haven't researched the subject at all. However, I have made a video about this specific subject in the past, and I can assure you hyper-realistic masks do exist. However, they are not made available to civilians. These are only for use by military, law enforcement, and of course, the government. I don't think another intelligence agency in the world devoted the time and the budget to disguise like we did. Disguise became a form of body armor. In the spy museum, we call the mask five second mask. They proved invaluable. You could change your ethnicity. You could change your gender, you could change your nationality, and if you needed to, you could actually become another person. Our mask had to be perfect. The masks were full-face latex masks. It allows you to furrow your brow, it allows you to squint your eyes, it allows you to speak. You talked. Um, the specific mask we're talking about would fit just one person. The first thing we do is we make a face impression. If you've been to a dentist and never had a dental impression, it's the same thing. It's just your face, not your teeth. So they would have added to his face. They could rearrange his face a bit and give him a new face that would fit perfectly over his real face. The mask is the culmination of a lot of work that we did at CIA over a period of, I say 10 years, developing that technology. It was a big challenge to come up with something that finally actually animated and worked to really fool a person closer than three, four feet from you. But we did. The fact that we're allowed to show it tells me the CIA had moved on. I don't know what they're doing. I shouldn't know. I'm dying to know, but I don't know. Relax. You'll get to see it all later on. So I'm proud to show people how good we got to that point and let them imagine. So what are they doing now? So now that I've shown you the proof, that hyper-realistic masks do indeed exist. Let's take a look at this photo of Vince McMahon just before his hair turned jet black. Take a look at this ear. Look at this weird line next to his ear. Does that look normal to you guys? Does this look like a totally normal ear to you? That line looks very strange to me. It seems like that's where the mask ends, right there at his ear. Another thing that looks very strange and mask-like, if you will, is the eyes. Especially the corners of the eyes. When I look at the corner of his eye right here, again, it looks strange. It just looks like a mask to me. So I think they gave the current imposter Vince jet black hair and black eyebrows and a weird pencil thin mustache so that if anybody notices that it's not the original Vince and points it out like me, then they can just make the excuse, oh no, he just looks different because he dyed his hair and grew a mustache. Yeah, well, I'm not buying it. Not for a second. I remember what Vince McMahon looks like. I remember what Vince McMahon sounded like. And I remember what Vince McMahon acted like when he was on camera. And I don't buy for a second that this imposter on screen is the original Vince McMahon. 
Let me know in the comments section if you agree or disagree. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.